Oh, hey folks, what's going on? It's Lumps the Clown, and I am back. It's been a little bit since I've recorded new material, had a lot of shit going on IRL in real life, so yeah. But here I am to entertain you. October is when I absolutely come to life, okay? This means no more sweating my ass off walking outside, no more two, three showers a day to stay fresh fall everybody okay this is 60 degrees average per day this is the way I like it leaves are starting to fall out of the trees and it is an amazing time of year for me okay well to kind of ring things off as Halloween comes in we're going to be playing a game called Phantasmal uh, developed by Joe Chang now, about a week ago Joe Chang actually approached me uh, and asked if I would uh, give his game a look-see and I told him you know yeah I'll take a look at it whatever and I was really busy too because I just started a new job but I'm glad I took the time uh, he mentioned roguelike horror and immediately you take two of my favorite genres, roguelike, which is kind of like randomly uh, generated dungeons and everything else, and then you combine it with horror, okay? And horror has always been one of my big pulls, okay? I've always enjoyed horror flicks, enjoy horror games. They're absolutely amazing. So when you combine those two, my head about went <laughs> So I've been excited to check it out. Well, I got in there, and yeah, you know, it's pre-alpha, so the graphics aren't, you know, polished or anything else like that. But the reason behind this, and the reason that games go through developmental stages is to, number one, test the engine, and number two, make sure that the concept and everything else goes into play accordingly. So, if you remove all of the horseshit, all of the hair splitting, ignore any polish, you actually get a very amazing game. And I've actually test played it for a good couple of hours before I actually recorded this. So I was able to take a look at it and I love it. Uh, I got dropped in different parts. Uh, first couple of times I get killed in the first 30 seconds, but you know, I think that's the reason behind this game. I think it's going to be a difficult one. It's going to encourage you to test your skills and to be very careful and above all else, protect your resources and use them very sparingly. But without any further ado, we're going to jump in here, Joe Chang's Phantasmal. Let's get started. All right, so right off the bat, you can tell that the music is absolutely insane. Uh, this uses WASD controls for movement, and there's also buttons for uh, picking up items and such. And here you got your instructions. This tells you all the buttons that you'll need to, uh, to press in order to do the appropriate action. And then, of course, credits. And then you quit, but I'm not going to be quitting. We're going to start. Now, I've gotten stomped before, so hopefully I can get a little bit further this time around. Alright, so F to turn on the torch. It does kind of look like a flashlight, but I ain't splitting hairs. Oh, okay, so you pick up with the E button. And those were flares. Not quite sure what the flares do just yet. I'm sure they're used to distract enemies. Oh, here's a note. August 28th, 1971. After noticing some strange luminescence and odd high-pitched sounds from the abandoned and soon-to-be-renovated wing of the campus, I decided to investigate. Ever since the expedition, no one takes me seriously anymore, so I'll just have to check this out myself. I'm not sure if it's coincidental, but the recent increase in electrical storms have created many subtle but fascinating anomalies. I've noticed trace energies similar to the ones we analyzed from the gateways we found in Antarctica. Could this be? But how and why here? I have to get to the bottom of this. Professor Dyer. So press right click to continue. So this uh, obviously puts the gun in front of you uh, for better aiming. F turns on the torch, aka flashlight. But let's go in here. Now this looks like a broom, so we'll pick it up. So this is our melee weapon, and I don't think they break. I haven't seen one break on me yet, but it's kind of like Doom, where you press 1, you know, for gun, 2 for broom, shit like that. So, it looks like shit on the bed. Let's go ahead and look at it here. What's all this gunk on the ground? It's kind of... It looks like worms or something, but it looks like broken tiles. A coin? I'm not entirely sure what that does yet. Here's another note. August 28, 1971. I knew it. I found a gateway. It seems to only be a localized one, though, and it seems to lead to another area of the very, this very building. In my enthusiasm, I made a grave error. I must have come too close to the portal, even though I was several meters away and it drew me in. It appears to also only be unidirectional for organic materials. 
Even worse, there are things lurking. <clears throat> Even worse, there are things lurking in the shadows. They appear to be humanoid, but they most definitely are not human. They don't seem to be able to see me, but they appear hypersensitive to sound. I think it's best if I avoid them for now. I'll have to blah, be as quiet as a mouse, Professor Dyer. So, uh oh. So we got shit lurking around in the dark. Uh, apparently, there is a. Um, there's some sort of portal up here. And that's going to lead us to a different part of the building, but it's unidirectional. So, will we ever escape this shithole? I mean, who would live here on purpose? This kind of looks like something out of Splatterhouse. Uh, let's see. I do dig the ambient sound effects, though. And that's what makes or breaks any horror game. Alright, is there anything in here? Doesn't appear like it. Alright, so nothing in here but a fucking fire. And this looks like the end of the road. See, so yeah, I can't go any further than this. Doesn't look like there's anything beyond it anyway. Oh, what's this here? Looks like another note. Let's check it out. 10 20 p.m., August 28th, 1971. I tried studying a group of these creatures. I'm calling them the starved now, from afar, with my torch, and I noticed something curious. All of a sudden, I experienced nausea and palpitations. They are disgusting creatures, but the fear I felt seemed to emanate from their very core. I experimented with this by looking away and gazing at them without my torch in the dim light. Lo and behold, the sickening feeling began to dissipate immediately. Strangely, when I lit an old flare, I noticed I suffered none of the same ill effects. So, they were talking about flares earlier, I picked up three of those. So maybe I might be able to get further this time around by not using my torch. But we have magically morphed to a different part of the building. This looks like a random closet. I forgot what to do with flares. Alright, so that's how I throw them. I actually threw them pressing C, I believe. Right, so there's nothing out of here, good. What about in here? Alright, nothing. So somehow I just wound up in some weird hallway with two closets, one on each side. Control is going to be your duck, or crouch. Man, it is a dark game. Do not just willy-nilly run around a corner. You never know what's going to be on the other side. So be very cautious. It looks like I can open this. What's in here? Nothing? Okay. What about here? Nothing there. What about here? Anything here? Fuck no. So this is a room with a castle I haven't seen yet. Uh oh, it's getting fucking weird. Throw out a flare. Uh, let's see. Da, da, da. Go up here, very quietly. Alright, so we're going through here. And those light beams really throw me off. Good lord. It's kind of like walking into the darkness. I mean, I know it's light and everything, but damn. Doesn't really seem to help much. Oh, can I take this? I can. Give me that shit. So now I got bored. This looks like it hurt shit. Alright, we're about to go into a weird room, so I am going to... Oh, no, this is just a regular little passage hallway thing. Alright, I'm strapping up with the gun. That's a broom, motherfucker. I'm a gun at. There we are. Now you got very limited ammo. Uh, I picked up ammo there in that uh, first room. So that's cool and all, but you don't really get much. I haven't seen much uh, ammo getting tossed around in this game. Oh shit! Die, bitch! 
I don't know for sure whether or not gunshots actually attract other enemies yet. I haven't been able to nail that down. Flares. Something else going on in here. That guy fucking snuck up on me. You bastard. Oh shit! Ooh, that was close. We're gonna continue on. Oh hell no, I ain't that stupid. So we're gonna toss another flare in there. I strap up with the board. Give this game one thing. It does create the environment very well. And if this is the pre-alpha version, I am super stoked to check out the uh, final product. Uh, the concept of a horror roguelike game, absolutely amazing. Something I've been wanting for a while, actually. You know, random environments, you have no idea. Oh shit! Die! Die! Okay, so the board appears to be stronger than the uh, broom that I had. I'm gonna throw another flare in there, just to be safe. I'm gonna get my gun out. I got ten shots left. Whoa, damn. What's this? Thought I heard knocking. Go down here. Hopefully not die. Oh, I see another portal. Please don't work me so I'm gonna get my ass stomped. Ah, oh, die bitches! No! Bitch, run! What the fuck's your problem? Get in there! Oh shit! Ow! Oh damn! Ah, go, go, go! Where the hell did that door go? Get your punk ass in there! Ah! Something's fucking me up. Ah, die! Shit, shit! Did I kill it? What the fuck? It was just a little guy. And I got fucking three health now. Shit! Die, you fucking little spider bastard. Come in. So I sure as hell won't go out there with one health. Ugh. Oh, he's crawling off into the darkness. I don't like that at all. Hmm. Whoops. Didn't mean to drop flare. And turn on my torch. Saying good. I can't tell if I've been here. Oh shit! Die! No, oh, die, 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 die. I'm dead. I'm so fucking dead. I can't believe I'm lasting this long on one health. Keep swinging! Ah, son of a bitch! Alright, so folks, for the record, that was the longest I have been able to play Phantasmal before getting killed. 
And I think I need to be a lot more cautious with my resources. Yeah, 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 yeah. From what I gather, this is actually a beginning part of the game, so this is going to be what leads you to the initial portal. Oh man, I need a dragon. Woo! Uh, for any folks on my Twitter, I'm actually feeling really good. We're about to ring in the end of year, so I had me a Blondie Brownie at Applebee's, and that shit kicked ass. It was so good. If, there, if there's an Applebee's nearby him, drop $6 and get your ass a Blondie Brownie. It is amazing. You want some, bitch boy? They look like dead little dogs after they die. They just kind of crumble over in a heap. <laughs> Shit, I ain't seeing shit. You over there? There you are. Uh oh, earthquake. I was getting hurt and I didn't even know it. Fuck me. Oh, there you are. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, I've been with a piece of your ass for a while. Give me here. You dead? That's what I thought, motherfucker. I hate those things. You know, I've been killed more times by those stupid fuckers than any other enemy in the game. Seriously. Oh, shit! Nope, nothing. Okay, good. I guess. I guess it's better than something jumping out and fucking eating my head for breakfast. Not good. Why is that door just mysteriously opening and closing? Ah, there you are. Now, if a spider was big enough in my house to open doors, I wouldn't fuck with that spider. I really wouldn't. I would just leave his ass alone. Try to make buddies with him, you know? Something. Oh, these guys. Damn it! Son of a bitch. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him! Ah! folks there you go that was Joe Chang's phantasmal and this is in the pre-alpha version so again I wasn't gonna be going off of any sort of graphics or anything else like that seeing that it is pre-alpha I was focusing on its idea behind this game and I've been wanting a roguelike horror game since I was a little clown okay uh, 1999 uh, Silent Hill kind of changed up everything for me in regards to horror games and that's why a lot of the newer Resident Evils don't really sit well with me you know to tell you the truth but in this particular one, it's sort of Fargo plus Silent Hill. Absolutely amazing uh, building of the atmosphere, um, you know, feelings of isolation, uh, the ambient sounds, and everything else actually kept me on my toes. So I am super duper pumped to see the final product on this. Joe Chang, I commend you for your work. Uh, anybody else who might have assisted you with any sort of graphics, music, anything else, and in the event that I get more money, I will definitely be kicking you down some Kickstarter stuff because I really like the concept and I want to be on board. I want in, okay? Well, this has been Lumps the Clown. I want to say thank you very much for tuning in for my Let's Play of Phantasmal and Lumps the Clown out.